Hello and welcome back to another episode of Death Mode Thrower Calamity. Or Calamity Death, Thro Death Mode Thrower? I don't know what to call it. Um, so, to start off this episode, I've got 26 Iron Crates open up here. Let's see if we can get the Minotaur pet. There it is, we got it. Awesome. You know what? We don't have to open up anything else then. Um, I also got the blue Siren Heart. Uh, it didn't take that many attempts. And I thought we weren't going to have the effect yet. If we go down and see if we can find anything. Look at that. We already have the uh, Hunter effect. So that's probably going to stay on even though we haven't beaten um, Skeltron yet. So pretty happy about that. Uh, let's go make the... Uh, accessory. Alright, this should be everything that we need for it. Oh, I went too far. Uh, we have to make it next to a uh, demon altar, I believe. Yeah. Um, let's go do that, then. We got one right here. Whoa. Look at us, we're like glowing green right now. That's weird. And there it is, the gladiator's enchantment. Oh yeah, let's go test it out. So the main, oh crap, I still haven't put my stuff back on. Uh, put this here. There you go. Um, is that right? I think so. Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so. Let's do a test. Let's try these, for example. Go about that fast, and we throw this on. What? <laughs> um. Well, I can't say I was expecting that. What? Oh my god! This 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 thing is incredible. What if we, like, throw it at the ground? Yeah, I mean, this just seems really good. It's gonna make boomerangs a little worse, though. So that kind of sucks. That's weird. You can, like, throw it underneath enemies. Look at that. That's really weird. Oh, here, here they come. They probably hit a wall. <laughs> this is weird. Super weird. Well, it's five percent more damage, so I'm not gonna. What about this? <laughs> okay. What about a sticky grenade? Wait, I'm not destroy tiles. Huh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. It's so weird. Oh well, uh, well, we'll play with it for this episode, see if we like it. We also have a little Minotaur following us around, so that's pretty cool. Alright, uh, see you when I think of something else to do. <laughs> so check this out. Javelins now, for some reason, do the weird Scourge of the Desert effect, where they'll, like, curve upwards, but the Scourge of the Desert doesn't. So we're going to stop using these, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's just worse. So clear up some uh, hot bar room. Cool. Uh yeah, these these are just go but these are just going straight now, which is really really nice. So, cool. So I was just looking through enchantments and uh, I found a couple of cool ones. First of all, this iron enchantment only needs iron gear, which we can make super easily, and it, apparently it, it attracts items from a much larger range. So I'm probably going to make that. And also the gold enchantment. Um, I think the greedy ring... Yeah, we would have to do the pirate invasion for this. But check this out. Increase damage based on current coin count. Picking up coins will give you extra life regenerate and movement speed for a short time. You will throw away any lesser valued coins you pick up. Increase the coin pickup range and shops have lower prices. Hitting enemies will sometimes drop extra coins. Your attacks also inflict Midas. So, maybe after the pirates, 
we could, uh, if we have gotten a gold squirrel, we could try to pick this up and it'll give us some more damage. I don't know. We'll see. Here's the iron enchantment. And, uh, I don't know. Let's try it out. See just how much higher of a pickup range we have. Uh, let's try throwing that. Okay, so it seems pretty good actually. This might be something we want to keep on us. Um, you know, and just do this whenever we want to pick stuff up from farther. So it's nothing too great actually. I might, I might not worry about it, but we, we have the space for it now because we can take all of this off. Uh, now that we. <clears throat> now that we're done fishing for good, I can take this on my hotbar too. Might as well keep the master bait there. Yes, that is what it's called. Alright, there's warding on everything. Suddenly we have a lot of defense. So what I'm thinking right now is I'll gather a whole bunch of potions and um, try and fight the Eye of Cthulhu. And uh, yeah, see how that goes. Alright, I'll gather some potions and we'll, we'll give them a good shot. Alright, so we are approaching onto night here. I don't know how this is gonna go but I made a long platform and I'm gonna try fighting it without a horseshoe. Now that could be a horrible idea or it might just give us, you know, the little bonuses that the Siren's Heart's gonna give us um, over this because really all this is is the ability to not take fall damage uh, and maybe one extra little jump. So I made a crap load of buff potions as you can see Regen, uh, Swiftness, Well-Fed, Iron Skin, uh, Night Owl, which is probably unnecessary, Sunshine, which will make the uh, video just look better, Fortitude for basically uh, Cobalt Shield, Endurance Potion, Wrath, and Rage, um, and I'm hoping all of this setup, and I, you know, I got warding and shit on everything, we're actually going to get a natural spawn eye, uh, which I guess is fine normally be a little bit bummed to see that uh, when you're trying to fight it because now you're gonna lose a little bit of time on night but because of you know adrenaline mode and stuff I take a hundred damage from that well I don't know maybe it's gonna be a mistake to do this but I feel like I'll, I'll be able to you know either hook the ground or whatever I need to do um, I don't know I hope this works <laughs> that's all I can really say I made a whole bunch of extra Molotovs as well, so uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to be doing the fight like this so I can see it. Uh, Alright, let's buff up. taking damage like that. I'm not gonna put that on. I need my adrenaline, so I'm stalling a little bit here. I think whenever I can, I need to use my sandstorm in a bottle. Wait a little bit more, because I think when he reaches half is when he's going to... Uh, Start going crazy. I want to make sure I have adrenaline for that. Alright, here it comes.
good. I think we're gonna get him. If we don't get, if we just get a little lucky. One hit. Okay. Whew. That was like really close. Man. So I missed him with a lot of my adrenaline uh, Molotovs, and I think I had I not missed him, I could have just totally skipped his crazy face. So this is the reason we did this fight, basically. Um, let me just show you. It lets us dodge. And it's, it's basically just a better Cthulhu shield. So we're going to be super happy to have this. It's going to take some getting used to, to get this into our, uh, you know, our mind of we have this, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be happy. That's for sure. Oof, I need to take a, a second to cool off after that fight. Alright, so. Uh, the Eye of Cthulhu. That eye, how peculiar. Since you, it's, uh, I sense it watching you more intensely as you grew stronger. It must have been some poor monstrosity shunned by those more powerful than it. Or perhaps it is just one of the many that lurk in the night. Got some victory shards, a teardrop cleaver, which is just a melee weapon that makes enemies cry. <laughs> Shadow diamonds and the bag gave us nothing too big. We're not going to use the uh, shield of Cthulhu because the counter scarf is better, basically. We got some crimtain ore, which let's see if we can make anything cool with this on its own. It seems like pretty much the only thing we're going to be able to make, which is pretty cool um, is a couple of crimtain storage upgrades so I'm gonna work on that right now actually get our storage better I think now we're gonna focus on the jungle for a little while getting some bean aids uh, eventually working towards the frost park boots um, yeah I, th I think that'll be our goal for now so I'm gonna make a little like you know jungle stuff or a little bit of jungle stuff that uh, you don't want to see on camera like, for example, I want to make a tunnel going down and a little farm for now. Uh, so I will meet you once that's done. Alright, jungle time. Try to find whatever we can down here. Looking for Queen Bee. Some chests. Looking for all sorts of stuff. Jungle spores as well. We want these. We're trying to get to 400 now. We can uh, eventually make the jungle shack room, which will be pretty good. Right, we gotta, we gotta take refuge up here. Um, I mean, you guys have all seen the jungle before. I guess I can uh, just cut a little bit here. Sure, let's just cut. Oh yeah, enchanted boomerang. It's so nice for later, because we will be able to turn it into a flamerang, which we need for this. So, lucky us. I don't know if you can tell, but my voice is starting to give. We've got a little jungle shrine here. Let's see what it. Oh, that's okay. I don't want to get jumped on here. Let's see what it's got inside put the siren's heart on because look at this we can see all of these enemies with it super handy okay you gotta go first or maybe we can snatch it there you go <laughs> uh, I think it was a boomstick in there which is not super handy <laughs> um, but that's fine it's our first one I just had a really close call with the boulder and we found this now uh, so there's a few things I would like from this. The ankle of the wind, I think, can still be in here. Oh, crap. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> I also would not mind a fiberglass fishing pole. I have nowhere to go here, man. Okay, there you go. This, this man-eater is really annoying. Hmm. Alright, well, I'm 
not sure how I'm gonna deal with this guy. I'm dead. Well, oh my god. That's such an annoying place for him to be. There's nothing I can do about him. Oh. I don't know if you heard that my video is done rendering. Ah. So I'm sort of thinking maybe I shouldn't use the gladiator's enchantment. Even though I went through hell and back to try to get it. A lot of the times, uh, Fargo mods, or Far Fargo's enchantments are pretty broken, and this sort of feels that way. Um, I don't know, it, it just it feels a little bit overpowered, right? You know, to just be able to have a boomerang do that, you know? So, I think that I'm going to take it off. So, yeah. We're just gonna throw the shark tooth necklace back on. It's whatever. I mean, it sucks that I went through all of that. I should have tested it first. Had I known it would be that crazy, probably wouldn't have made it. Um, but it's fine. It was fun. Um, I, I, it's not necessarily that it's overpowered. It just doesn't feel right. You know, like if, if I get a new thrower weapon, I don't want to see. You know, I don't want to see it go a million miles per hour. I want to see it work the way that the devs wanted it to. So, I'm not going to use it. Uh, but it's fine. It's not like fishing was for nothing. We still got a whole bunch of stuff. What is that? That's a blue slime? It's freaking purple. <laughs> there's, uh, there's frogs everywhere, which apparently are material. Uh... And you can turn them into a frog leg if you have ten of them. That's kind of funny. Alright, well, yeah, like I said, we're, we're done with the uh, gladiator enchantment for now. Uh, meet you back with more good stuff. Made it back to the tree and it just had feral claws. So, uh, this is interesting. I found the, uh, the temple and it seems to be open. Um, I don't know, that's, there's definitely a chest. So I don't know, maybe uh, maybe we found the luckiest world gen ever. I guess that guy's gonna get away. Oh, no, he's back. There you go. Uh, in the chest, there's a lizard power cell and a solar tablet. Can I make a solar eclipse? <laughs> I'm gonna try that right now. I doubt it's gonna work. You probably have to be... Uh, in hard mode for it. Let's see. Oh, it's it's nighttime anyway, so I can't do it yet. Well, we already have a lizard power cell. <laughs> That's funny. What about lizard furnace? No, nothing too crazy yet. Okay. Um. So yeah, I got the feral claws from that thing. Here, let's throw everything in here. Now, I should, after getting those stingers, be able, yes, to make a thorn chakram. And by the way, this terrarian thing is just an April Fool's joke by T Mod Loader. When you make it, it uh, just gives you, like, super debuffs for an hour. <laughs> so there's the thorn chakram melee, and then throw it, or turn into throne. Awesome. Uh, I think this is probably gonna replace this. Well, it would if we were still using this. Maybe, actually. I don't even know. Is this still... Hmm. I thought this was going to be amazing, but... It's looking to me right off the bat that this might just be better. I mean, obviously if we get it to do that, it is, but... Yeah, it's not great, this thing, honestly. Well, that kind of sucks. I was looking forward to this. Oh well, it's another piece of the puzzle. Uh, oh, hang on a second. Can't we make? Can't we use the the, uh, the Reaver Shark? No, we need to beat the brain of Cthulhu. Gotcha. Next up on our boss list is Crabulon. Hmm, we could work towards getting uh, Crabulon and the Micro Root. We could do that. Yeah, sure. I think I'll do that now then. So I had one more clip here. Um, I actually lost that clip. I don't know where it went. Uh, I probably deleted it on accident because I'm a smart man. 
Um, I said, all right, I'll make a, um, what's it called? Overworld mushroom biome and we will leave it there. And, uh, yeah, I ended the episode then. So I guess it's only right if I do an outro now. So thanks for watching and, uh, yeah, see you next time.